this is the outfit for the day. I'm wearing a very basic old strap top and some ski pants just so I can easily change in and out of things without you potentially seeing anything. And as you can see, number one, this room is a mess, but number two, there is a lot of clothes to go through. So let's get started with that straight away. Well, not straight away, we're gonna donate it or sell it or something like that. And what things I wanna work on by like tailoring it and whatnot. I'm gonna be putting a lot of things over my head today, which means I can't wear my sunglasses in today's video. It is quite tragic. I'm gonna start with this sweater dress that I wear all the time. I wanna try on things that I wear a lot in anyways just to see if I should keep wearing them or if I should get rid of them. But the top I think is cute. It's not the cutest pattern, but it does fit me and is very comfortable. But the back, like, is it too short if I stand here? Like, is that okay? Or do you see too much of the butt? I think I'd like to take this in a little bit so it doesn't poof at the back there, but I am gonna keep this because I love wearing it and it's very comfy. Now everything I'm keeping is gonna go on a pile on this desk, but it's definitely gonna hit the wash because we have a dog that sheds a lot for how small and not fluffy he is. And he has been climbing over these pile of clothes since they've been here, which is part of the reason why we're organizing everything. Next is a little black slip dress. And I don't know how to feel about it. I really like having something like this in my closet, but you'll see in a second, or I don't know if you'll see because it's black on black, but it comes like this. It doesn't really cover much if I take it down like that. And it has a habit of pulling down too far when I'm wearing it, but it is my only like bodycon dress that I really have. So I think for that reason, I'm gonna keep it. I'm just gonna adjust the straps because even the back and everything, like I think the length and everything is fine. So I wanna keep it. Another black on black item. This isn't the cutest shirt anymore. They're definitely not still in style, but I like having it for a hot day. So I'm also keeping this one. I promise I'm gonna get rid of stuff. And this is an example of one of them. I am gonna try it on just so you can see, but it's a black shirt that's way too big for me. I got it because for work I had to wear a black shirt and it was the only shirt I can find in my mom's house, but as you can see, it's like way too big. So I'll throw it in the use as fabric pile because now I have a sewing machine, but I don't wanna buy fabric. Next up is this scarf. It's two-toned and not only is it really warm and comfy in the winter, I made it myself. I knitted this whole thing, so we're keeping it. This knitted top I stole from Minion. It comes to right about here and I wear it over that body contrast. I think I wore that for Christmas. And like, it's not super cute, but I feel cute in it. So like, should I keep it? Should I not keep it? I'm gonna keep it for now and I'll give it to Minion in case he wants it back. But it's such a pretty green. Next up, I have this dress that I stole from my sister and like, it was nice at the time, but I definitely don't think it's in anymore and I don't wear it out anywhere. This is like the full body look. I don't know if it even looked good back here, but now you can see my legs, okay? But yeah, I'm just, I'm not a fan. I don't wear it anymore. I don't choose it. I don't like this color blue. So we're going to throw this one out. Next up is the swimsuit. I'm not even going to try it on. It doesn't fit me. Like it pulls down too far here and these straps are entirely worn out. So even though it was cute and I loved it when I got it in my grade seven, um, definitely outgrown it by now. Now this belt has definitely seen better days, but it's the only one of its type that I have, so I'm gonna have to keep it. Okay, so this sweater actually comes with a story. I went out one night after working, I think. Why was it even there? Anyways, I went out one night and this drunk guy in the parking lot kissed my cheek and then gave me the sweater. And it's very nice, very comfy. I'm sure he misses it and regrets giving it to some random chick. But I like wearing it at home, but I'm gonna keep it because the neighbor definitely wears the sweater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our closet is kind of like one thing. Our closet is kind of like one thing. Literally, we have one closet. So I'm gonna be trying on a few of his things today. This is another one of his. This is his working jacket for when we're working on the tiny house and just on the property and stuff like that. And you can never have enough working clothes to get dirty in. So we're definitely gonna keep this one. What's in your pocket? Chocolate? <laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder where mine is. I haven't worn it in a while. But trust me when I say this thing needs a wash. Then there's this sweater. I can tell you now, it's too small. I think it's one of the neighbor's old things, but um, if it's okay with you, I'm gonna get rid of it. Neither of us wear this in any way. Then there's this thing, also courtesy of my sister, and I thought I was gonna get rid of it, but I actually do like wearing it. I usually button it up like a dress, you know? And like I said, I love green, so I'm definitely gonna keep this. Let me show you how long it is. If I stand back here, you can't even see how far down it goes. It hits me practically just above my knees. Next up, I have this soft sweater. I got it for my birthday this year, I believe. It's a little porous, especially if you're in the wind, but I do like wearing it as part of my PJs and stuff like that in the winter. And it is still relatively new, so I'm gonna keep it. Even though it already has a stain on the front. That's what I get for just eating and everything. Next up, we have this big blue sweater. I'm sure you've seen me wear it before. It's all like shaggy and loose, and I usually wear it off the shoulder or something like that. But I think 
I'm over it. It's very comfy. It's something I'd wear at home, but I don't just need things to wear at home. I need things to wear out. So maybe if I could like tuck this into something, I'd wear it more. But I think for now, it's gonna be on that pile. Like it doesn't look good like this, you know, because it's so loose. And like this is a little lame. And like I said, it doesn't really flatter me or anything. So throwing out all the blues. I think the same thing goes for this sweater. I bought it way back when, or rather my sister bought it for me. I really love my own stuff. And I got it oversized because I wanted it to be like a sweater dress and it does go down, it covers my butt and stuff like that. But again, it's just not cute. It doesn't really do the off the shoulder thing that nicely and everything. And it also doesn't knot up that nicely. Or it does, but I'm just not good at knotting things. So I think I'm gonna put this on the fabric pile and I'm gonna try and stitch it into a dress and if it doesn't work, I'll throw it out. Next up, I have this floral dress that I had my grandmother tailor for me, lest she tried her best. And I think it's on the nicer side, the more formal side. If I'm doing something with older people, I'd wear this. Let me step up here. It sits a little tight, but it's not a bad length. I'd wear it to like an interview or something. I also wore this on like a very nice day, so that's what I got it for. I do like how it sits, so I think I'm gonna use it as like a template to make more dresses like this. I especially like the zip down the back. But yeah, you should just go straight down and then it wasn't that flattering. Next up is this little thing that I can already tell you I'm just gonna throw out. Well, I think the sheer lace is a nice look. I think this style is outdated at this point. And also, when I put it down, it's like this material over top of the pattern and then just this smooth stuff underneath. And whenever I'm wearing it, this goes down and then this goes over top. But this never goes as far down as this does because I like pull it down during the night. So you always see that edge peeking out and I just... I don't like it. I'm not a fan. So I'm gonna get rid of this one, unfortunately, as nice as it does look. I was considering should I just like hem this piece, but then it gets too short at the back. It's gonna go on the fabric pile. It might look like I have a lot of stuff back here, but I don't really have a lot of stuff to wear out. And that's why something is semi-decent. I'm very reluctant to let go of it. But then again, I don't want stuff in my closet that I don't wear. So now this one I need some advice on. Because it's knitted, it's not a material I can stitch or anything like that. So I'll have to either throw it out or keep it. And I like the top, I think it's very cute, but I bought it as a sweater dress and I wore it out on our first date actually and I looked really cute, you can take my word for it. But then it's not sweater dress length anymore, you can see my whole butt. And it used to go down to like here, it really, really was nice at some point, and then it shrunk in the wash. So I love the green, I love the sweater dress vibe, but it's just too short realistically and it doesn't look good with leggings or anything. And I can stick it into a skirt, but then it's just like too lumpy. So I don't know what to do with this one. I guess I can try and stretch it out. There's this thing where you put in like fabric softener and hot water and stuff. So I'm gonna try that. But like, is it too big here? Does it look dumb? Should I just get rid of it anyways? You know, I'm all stuck on this. I'm gonna try salvaging it, but it's probably gonna go out. The lovely thing about filming this process is I now have a record of what I said I was gonna do to all my clothes. Cause I try it on and be like, oh yeah, I should do this. And then just put it back in my closet and forget. So while I'm editing this, I'm gonna make a list of all the things I should do and see if I actually do them or not. Anyways, I used to love this dress as well. It's nice and short and summery. Let me show it to you. I think it suits me really well, but it's too big. I think it's so freaking cute though. I was so sad to get rid of it, but looking at it now, it feels really cute. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna try and take it in to make it just fit me a little better. But then again, my sister wore two wedding ones and she tore this decoration at the bottom. So I'm gonna put it on the fabrics pile because if I don't keep it as a dress, it's a wonderful fabric to work with. Maybe make like a cute crop top or something. I am trying to get rid of things, okay? I don't think this is my type of thing, unfortunately. But everyone on TikTok makes like a whole wears it like a shirt. I'm good, thanks. This sweater I took from my mom's house when I was cold and had nothing to wear while I was there. But it's not very cute, it's just functional. And I feel like I'll never wear it out of the house, even though like everything looks 10 times cuter on camera, wow. But realistically, I absolutely never wear this, so it's gonna go. Now this dress is another one I don't know about. I got it for my birthday in the first year because I was really into sweater dresses and I still am a little bit. I wore it a lot throughout second year and I think it's cute, but I haven't worn it recently. But then again, lockdown, sitting at home. It's not the most flattering because it sits pretty tight, so I'd have to wear like something that tucks in the gut with this dress, but I like it and I like wearing it with some pearl earrings and some white shoes. So I think I'm gonna ultimately keep this one. Next we have the shark. It's not a clothing piece, it's like a blanket, but it's like a mermaid tail. I bought it for my ex for Christmas and we broke up, he was like, you can have it back now. And I'm glad because it was really freaking expensive and I don't know why I was spending that much on a boy. So at least now I get to enjoy it. But it always gets dirty down here because your feet are like on the floor, but it's gimmicky, it's fun and we do use it. 
Next up is this black summer dress my grandmother made for me and I'm definitely going to keep it. It's not very cute right now because it is falling apart at the seams. Like my grandmother made it really well but she's a little old so stuff like this is happening and it's unraveling here and I don't like wearing it out. So I'll be fixing it up and I'll be making it in other colors for myself. This little white thing I don't wear it on its own but I'm going to keep it because I wear it underneath things that like shine through. Like that green dress I need to stretch out, I wear this so that you can see through it. Necessary. You might hate me for it, but I want to get rid of this shirt. It's a museum shirt for the neighbor's parents' museum, but I let someone wear it in an obstacle course on the camp I went on recently, and it is now stained beyond repair. Obviously, you can't see it now. If I bring it closer to you, you can see there's like those stains on the white, and it's just not cute to wear it anymore, so it's going on the fabric pile. This skirt makes me feel emotions because I think it is so freaking cute and I love wearing it, but um, it's really hard to get it on. And I shouldn't be struggling that much and being in that much pain just getting an item on no matter how cute it is. So this is going on the fabric pile. Next we have this sweater that I also took from Minion and it has been through it. It is stained. It has a hole on the sleeve. I let a chick wear it when we went out to the club together and she somehow got a cigarette on it and burned a hole in it. I was very unimpressed. But this is the sweater, it's cozy, it's comfy, it's my go-to on a cold day, so I'm definitely going to keep it. Okay, so this next thing upsets me, it's a what? It's a waistcoat. A waistcoat. It's a waistcoat. I got it back when I was bartending because I needed to wear a semi-uniform for the space I was working at. So I bought it for myself and my mom had it tailored for me so it suits me nice and everything. But then lockdown happened and then I quit bartending and I'm never going to wear it for work. I want to try it over like a big long sleeve shirt. Let me try that on and see if I actually like that look. Otherwise, this thing's got to go. That's actually what I bought this shirt for, to be oversized and then I can wear it under the waistcoat. I just don't like it. It's not as cute as I thought it would be in my head. I'd rather just wear a corset than this. So this has got to go. Try it on so we can see if you can wear it on one. Now this is like a PJ dress and it's the only one I have. So I'm going to keep it for those warm summer nights. I think it's cute. I like it. It says sweet dreams on the side. Now this boob tube I've had forever and I think it's time that this thing goes. I legit got it in primary school and watch, it's gonna look so cute on camera now. I'm not gonna wanna get rid of it, but it's just not my favorite thing. It is stretched out. It's nice and flowy and all that, but you can see at the top it's stretched out and just, it's not my favorite thing. So I'll use it for material, see what else I can do. Now I have two of these black cloth scarf things. The shorter one's definitely gonna go towards material. But the longer one is thicker and bigger. Obviously, it used to be a thing in like the 2000s that you'd wear it around your neck when layering was super in. Obviously, we're not doing that anymore and I just whacked myself in the face. These days, you wrap scarves and do fancy tops and things and I'm not entirely sure how to do that, but I want to have one to play around with and to try it out with. So I'm going to keep it. I have this Johnson & Johnson lab coat. I don't need it because I have my own loved and trusted lab coat that's been through my whole degree with me. So this one's going to go to the fabric pile. Maybe make a tote bag out of it. These are my white ski pants. I definitely wear them. This is the t-shirt from the Neighbors Community Project I helped on and he's gonna want to keep it. This long sleeved white shirt I also stole from my sister. She was in the Linden Road Show. I was absolutely not. But I love long sleeved white shirts so I'm keeping this one. This little bralette I love wearing. If I have a bra that has like texture on it, I put this on so you don't see it through the item I'm wearing. And because it's semi skin toned, it helps prevent my bra from shining through. So I definitely like this. This, however, oh my gosh, this is like a spandex type of thing that sticks all your guts in where it's supposed to go. My mom gave it to me because she thought I might have use for it, but it is so tight. I think it's too small for me. I know spandex is supposed to be that tight. But what bothers me the most, right, is when I have it on, like on my thighs, it makes a line where it stops and then my thighs start being thighs again. So you just see this like bump under whatever I'm wearing and I don't like it. So this has got to go. Gonna keep this as a PJ shirt, it's nice and comfy, it's that sporty, breathable material. So it's on the key pile. I haven't worn this beige little top since I've gotten it much, but I do like it. I think it's cute. I like wearing it with something like high-waisted. I have this really nice picture in the sunset with my hair down and everything when I was wearing it. So I like it and I'm gonna keep it. I only got it last year, it's relatively new. I'm not even gonna put this on. It's like a tank top of some sort and it had this like built-in bra thing, but it was too big for me, so it sits funny and it's just not cute. The only time I ever wear it is like under something else from wearing a sweater and I just don't wanna be naked under the sweater and that's not worth keeping it. So it is going in the fabric pile. I don't know if I should be standing close or far away from the camera, but I want you to see what I'm doing. This next shirt is from my high school days. We had this spirit week and the topic was smile from ear to ear. That's what it says in Afrikaans. It has the year on the back somewhere, <laughs> on the butt, and it's nice to casually wear it. I enjoy it, so I'm keeping it. This white tank top is a good staple, so I'm keeping it. 
You know, the problem with print white shirts is I think I have a lot of white shirts and I see a lot of white shirts in my cupboard, but every time I go to put one on, I'm like, mm, not this one, mm, not this one. And then I end up without a white shirt. So I need to get a plain white shirt. I got this cozy shirt when I worked at the cozy event and that was a hectic night, hey? I was working until like 2.30 the night before and then at 7.30 I had to be at the next event the next morning. I was very tired. I went to bed and put on the same clothes again and when I arrived the next morning, the guy said, did you even go home? You look exactly the same. And I'm like, no, I don't. I look a lot more tired. But yeah, it's a very comfy shirt. It fits me nice. So I think I'll use it as a template for other shirts, but also the neighbor wears it a lot. You see now, here's where I'm stuck. This is one like normal fabric tank top and this is a more silky one. This one's shorter than this one, but they're essentially the same, but I kind of want to keep both. I don't know which one I wear more. I think I'll keep it in mind the fact that I have both and then pay attention to what I realistically wear more and then go from there. There's a TikTok audio for the sweater. Immediately no. Immediately no. I've seen what I have to see. Immediately no. Okay. I used to like this. I thought it was super cute when my dad first got it for me. But number one, Minion had a nosebleed on it that has a permanently stained the thing and it's really not a cute look. It has other stains on it, it's not stretchy, it's not that comfy, and everyone's kind of over things that say places on it, like Los Angeles, I've never even been there, so what's the point? So while it was nice, while it lasted, I just don't think this is that cute anymore. Here's another item I have mixed feelings about. It's a bodysuit I got the same day I got that pink dress, because I thought bodysuits were cool, and then I have like never worn it since. So like, it does fit me and all that, and I think I'll give it another shot. I think I should just actually wear anything other than leggings, then I can wear this. But the fact that it's got like the strap details makes it hard to wear because I don't have like a strapless bra to wear with it and everything you kind of see. So realistically with the bra situation, I'm never going to wear it. So I think I should let it go. It's going to go to the fabric pile, potentially be a template, otherwise just nice fabric. Thanks to my mom for getting it for me, but I guess I was a little too ambitious. This is another top I took from my sister. I wore it once with jeans and it looks nice, but I don't wear jeans and I don't wear this shirt, so it's gonna go. I'm really purging my cupboard of blue today. And do you see all the dog hair flying around? Honestly, I hope not because it's a lot. Anyways, I got this jacket last year from the neighbor's mom and I don't know how to feel about it because I think it's cute. I think there are things I can wear it with. But you see like the sleeves are a little short, so it's too small for me. And should I really keep something that's too small for me, you know? It comes down pretty low though, I like that part of it. I don't even think I can zip this thing up. That's part of the problem. So we're actually making progress, even though there's still a lot of clothes in the background. This shirt's another one I got from my school. And funny story, it says Smiths on it, which is the name of one of the roads around my school. We have like teams named after the roads. There's Smiths, Empire, Mele, stuff like that. But if you read it like Smut and Smuts, that's what my shirt says. Very ancient and appropriate, very cute. I wore it in like a cute selfie once that I took back in first year and I also wore it in my tea bath video and a few of my friends were like, dude, what are you wearing? And for that meme, I'm gonna keep it. It's also the most white shirt I have because the details on it is just one color. Okay, so this jacket, it used to have like a camel colored friend and I got rid of that one and not this one, but I actually like that one more. I don't know why I did that, but I also think it's nice more on the formal side and since I'm potentially going into the workforce in about a year from now, I should probably keep this type of stuff and not get rid of it. So I'm keeping this one. This is like a mini blazer for fashion purposes and I think I'm gonna get rid of it but let's see what it looks like first. It's got like little shoulder pads. It's a cute mini blazer and like I said I should probably be holding on to professional stuff instead of getting rid of it. So I'll keep it for that reason. But I never really wear it over like dresses or anything how I thought I would. Now this is a lovely jacket. Oh, my hair looks ridiculous. So this warm and cozy winter jacket I got from my mom for my birthday technically. She got it for herself and then her boyfriend got her a jacket in the same color and then she was like, oh, I like this one more, you can have it. And I'm like, why, thank you. I think it looks lovely and I'm definitely keeping it. Then I have these stockings. I'm going to try and show you. It has like a line pattern on it. Can you see that at all? They are definitely on the older side, but they're the only stockings I have and I'm going to keep it for that purpose. For those cold winter times, I need to wear a dress, but I really need to get myself some new stockings. Then we have this and I'm just going to say no straight off the bat. What do you say? Yeah, it's technically his, but neither of us wear it, so do the fabric pile. I'm not going to put this bodysuit on now because you won't be able to see it over what I'm wearing, but it's on the more sexy, sheer side. I like wearing this with that black skirt of mine and my thigh-high boots, or rather my knee-high boots. I wish they were thigh-high. And I really like the look of it, so I'm definitely keeping it. My sister can fight me for it. I'm a little conflicted when it comes to this green shirt because I did wear it quite a few times in uni and stuff like that, but I don't like this neckline, you know? I do like having long sleeve shirts though, I did not as a kid, but I'm a big fan now. But it's such a pretty color, you know? What do you think? 
I like it. You know, I have two like this. I think this is the more like proper one. This is the one that looks the newest. I'm gonna keep this one. And if I find the other one, I'll throw that one out. Now, I used to love this red dress of mine. It's on the fancier side and it was on the expensive side. My dad bought it for me. It came with that belt I showed you earlier. But does it still look good? Does it still fit me? Because I've lost a lot of weight since I got it. And I feel like it looks a little big. But I think it's one of the prettiest dresses I have, so I'm gonna keep it. I'll probably pay that someone professionally tailors this for me instead of me doing it myself. But yeah, I think ultimately I'm gonna have to keep this. Just falling off the bed, don't mind me. I think I'm gonna keep this poncho because I like wearing it. I like the loose poncho vibes. It's just got like a lot of stains on it, unfortunately. So while I think it's super cute, I'm gonna have to work on it and make sure it's clean enough for me to be able to wear again. I usually wear it with like a black strap shirt underneath and leggings and stuff like that. But yeah keeping it. Oh, this swimsuit, I got it in grade six. I want to love it, I want to wear it, but if you listen to that elastic, it's um, it's a little old. It's time I get rid of it. 